Good morning everyone, it's Naomi Akanaika from Encouragement from the Word of God. God is so faithful. Today is a beautiful Thursday here in Toronto. I just want to bring the sayings of Jesus at the cross to you. And today we are going to learn about the saying that Jesus said to the thief. Uh, there were two thieves who were nailed to the cross beside Jesus. And um, one thief started to mock Jesus and said, if you are Christ, uh, why don't you set us free and why don't you set me and set, set us free and set yourself free? And you can see the other thief uh, said to the other, the thief who mocked Jesus said, this man hasn't done anything wrong. We are here on this cross because of our, what we have done, but this man hasn't done anything. And this thief asked Jesus, can you remember me when you come in glory? And Jesus says this beautiful saying that today you will be with me in paradise. So today we are going to learn about that saying that Jesus said. That's the second saying that Jesus said that Jesus said to him, truly I say to you, today you will be with me in paradise. What is paradise? That is heaven. Jesus promised this thief that he will be with Jesus in paradise today when they die that they would be in paradise. What assurance has we, you and me because of this? We know that this thief was a sinner. This thief only had to repent and he repented and he surrendered to Jesus. And at that right moment when he passed away, what happens is he is in paradise. He is in, in heaven with Jesus as Jesus promised. So it's today's saying is Jesus saying, today you will be with me in paradise. Are you assured? Are we assured that we will be with him when we close our eyes here on earth, that we will be with him in paradise today? We would be with him in heaven today? Life is very short. Life is not certain. We don't know if today is our last day. We don't know the next moment if it's our last day. Our life is in God's hands. But are you sure? Are you guaranteed that you and I will be in heaven with Him? It's, it shows us that we don't have to do our acts right. The, the sinners, the thieves have, have done sinful things. The thief who asked Jesus to remember him, he was a sinner. But he repented other than the other thief who didn't repent. So, and he was guaranteed heaven. So what is heaven? Heaven is the dwelling place of God. And you know that you and I, when we become Christians, when we become children of God, when we become Christ-like, we would have our citizenship in heaven. We are not from this earth. We are not from this earth. You and I, we will have tri troubles and tribulations. We are not from this earth. We are citizens of heaven. We have a citizens in this country as well as we have citizenship in, uh, in heaven. We are not far from heaven. We are not far from the angels who are living in heaven. We are not far from the loved ones who have died, who knew Jesus, who are living with Christ in heaven. We are not far from God who is in heaven and Jesus at the right hand of the Father. We are not from far from the real place heaven. You and I, we are clo close by. God's dwelling place is in heaven where Christ is today, where Christians go when we die. It's going to be our Father's house, our God's house. It is city built by God designed by God. It is better than our land, better than this world. It is a paradise. It is heaven. God is assuring you and me that we don't have to do any acts to go to heaven. We don't have to do anything. Already our price has been paid for. Our ticket has been given to us. Who is, who is there right now in heaven? Angels are in heaven. God is in heaven. Jesus is in heaven. Holy Spirit is inside of you and the angels are worshipping non-stop 24-7 worshipping bowing down and worshipping God all the saints are there in heaven 
all the prophets, all who believed in Christ are in heaven. Will we know each other in heaven? We will know each other in heaven, but we would have much better task there. We would not be having marriages in heaven. We would not be having this is my spouse in heaven because we will be focusing on Christ. We will be focusing on Jesus. In heaven, we will know every person in heaven. We will know because we are going to be in glorified bodies. What will we do in heaven? We will be 24-7 worshiping God. There won't be time to be bored. There won't be time to do, um, do um, be uh, idling. We'll have many things to do. God will put us in charge of many things and we will be glorifying Him 24-7. We will be praising Him and worshiping Him. So what will we do in heaven for eternity? We would worship Him, glorify God. We would worship Him without distraction. We would serve Him without being exhausted. We would fellowship without fear. We would learn and without being fragile, without being tired. We would rest and we would not be bored. How can you and I go to heaven? There is only just one way. The world will offer many ways, but I want to I want to tell you from the word of God, there's only one way that you can go to heaven. It is through Jesus Christ, my Lord, our Lord, our Savior. It is only through the blood of Jesus. It is only accepting Him as the Lord of your life that you can go to heaven. So do you want to go to heaven? If you want to go to heaven, just like the thief was promised by Jesus saying, you will be with me in paradise today. You want to be assured you're going to go to heaven today? If you die today, if it's your last breath today, you have to ask Him to heart, come into your heart. Ask Jesus to be the Lord of your life. Say, Jesus, come into my heart. Forgive my sins and be the Lord of my life. Take control of me. Guarantee and give me citizenship in heaven. That's all you have to say. So let's pray together. Father, we thank you for this word that you have spoken to us from Luke chapter 23 where the thief is asking you, Jesus, to remember him. And you tell the thief, today you will be with me in paradise. Lord, I want to be in heaven with you when I die, when I say my last breath here. Lord, people who are listening, they want to be with you in heaven. Lord, I pray that you would touch each and every one listening, that if they have not committed to you, if they haven't come to the only way, the truth and life, that is Jesus Christ, that they would surrender and ask you, Jesus, to come into their hearts and have guarantee heaven with you in heaven. Lord, I pray that you would touch each and every one, soften their heart, that they would come and open their hearts to you. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. I hope you were blessed today. just want to sing one worship song. It's a beautiful worship song from Paul Balochi and it's called King of Heaven. I put that. Hopefully the advertisements won't come. Let God help you through this. Heaven come down. King of heaven, come now. Let your glory be like the day. King of heaven, come. King of heaven, rise up. Who can stand against us? Let your glory mighty name. King of heaven, come. Let your kingdom come here, let your will be done here, in us, Jesus, there is no one greater, you alone are Savior, 
show the one you love. King of heaven, come down. King of heaven, come now. Let your glory reign, shining like a day. King of heaven, come. <coughs> King of heaven, rise up. Who can stand against us? You are strong to save in your mighty name. King of heaven, come. <coughs> we are children of your mercy, rescued for your glory. We cry, Jesus, set our hearts towards you. Every eye would see you. Lift it up. <coughs> King of heaven, come down. King of heaven, come now. Let your glory reign, shining like a day. King of heaven, rise up. Who can stand against us? Let your strong to save in your mighty name. King of heaven, come. King of heaven, come. It's a beautiful worship song. It's called King of Heaven, come. Truly. You and I, we are going to go to be with Jesus and He's going to come very soon. No one knows the time, no one knows the day, but you and I have to be ready when our Lord, our Jesus Christ will come for the second time. And from heaven He will speak our name and we will hear Him and we will be lifted up to Him. And you and I will live in paradise in heaven as the thief was promised in the sayings of the second saying in the cross where Jesus promised the thief today you will be with me in heaven you will be with me in paradise you and i we will be with him in paradise when we die if we die today if we die this week if we die this year if we die in the years to come you and i we have hope we are not people without hope you and i we have eternity in heaven with christ our lord jesus christ I hope that you were blessed with this word today. Please share this video and subscribe to the channel. Share with your friends and your loved ones who doesn't know there is only one way to Christ. And let them go to heaven through that way. That is through Jesus Christ. Have a wonderful day. Bye. God bless you.